Imagine sitting in an interview and you're asked, what steps do you take to ensure your work is error-free? Now let's dive into the context of this question. The key here is that employers are looking for more than just your ability to do a task. They want to understand your process, your diligence, and your commitment to delivering high-quality, error-free work. It's not just about completion, but also perfection. So why do employers ask this question? It helps them gauge your attention to detail and your approach to quality control. It's one thing to get the job done, but another to ensure it's done right the first time. They want to see if you double check your work, use specific tools, follow a particular process, or have developed personal strategies to minimize errors. This question is not as straightforward as it seems and your response can significantly influence the employer's decision. This question may be presented in various ways such as, how do you maintain accuracy in your work? Or tell me about a time you had to ensure your work was error-free. In your response, you'll want to emphasize a few key elements. First, discuss the specific strategies you employ to keep your work accurate. This might include double-checking your work using automation tools or implementing a peer review process. Next, mention any tools or procedures you use to minimize errors. This could be anything from specialized software to a simple checklist. A well-structured response to this question can showcase a multitude of skills. It highlights your problem-solving skills, demonstrating how you identify potential issues and implement solutions. It also shows your meticulousness, your attention to detail, and your commitment to quality. Finally, it shows a proactive attitude, a willingness to go above and beyond, to ensure your work is not just complete, but correct. Remember, the aim is not only to show that you can do the work, but also to demonstrate how you ensure it's done correctly and efficiently. Now let's dive into what makes a good response and what doesn't. Understanding the difference can be a game changer in your next interview. A common mistake is to give a generic or vague response. For example, saying, I always double check my work, or I am a perfectionist, these statements don't provide any insight into your unique methods or experiences. They are too general and might mock the interviewer think you're not taking the question seriously. A better approach is to share specific tactics you use to ensure your work is error-free. For instance, I use a project management tool to track my tasks and deadlines. This helps me prioritize my workload and ensure nothing slips through the cracks. I also set aside time for a final review before hitting the deadline. This response is far more effective because it demonstrates a proactive approach and gives a clear picture of your work habits. Another bad response could be, I don't make mistakes. This may sound confident, but it's unrealistic and can create an impression of arrogance. Nobody is perfect and claiming otherwise can be a red flag. A more effective response could be, I have a mentor who reviews my work. Their feedback helps me spot any potential issues and correct them before final submission. This not only minimizes errors, but also helps me learn and grow professionally. This response shows humility, a willingness to learn, and a proactive approach to maintaining quality. Remember, the key to a good response is to provide context. Don't just tell them what you do, show them how you do it. Give concrete examples from past experiences. Share the tools, techniques, or strategies you used. Explain how they have helped you minimize errors in your work. In essence, avoid making sweeping statements with no backing. Instead, demonstrate your unique approach to error minimization. Show them that you not only understand the importance of error-free work, but also have a system in place to ensure it. The key is to be specific and provide context, demonstrating your unique approach to error minimization. Let's quickly recap what we've covered. We began by understanding the context of the interview question. What steps do you take to ensure your work is error-free? We then explored its purpose, to gauge your attention to detail and commitment to quality. We delved into the possible variations of the question, reminding ourselves that the core essence remains the same. It's about demonstrating your systematic approach to work, your ability to spot errors and how you rectify them. We compared good and bad responses, underscoring the importance of showing, not just telling. We learned that a good response is detailed, specific and includes real-life examples, while a bad response is vague and generic. Now the ball is in your court. Practice, practice, practice. Craft your response, polish it and make it your own. Remember, every interview question is an opportunity to showcase your skills and value. So take a deep breath, prepare and you'll ace it. Thank you for watching. 
If you found value in today's video, please hit that subscribe button for more helpful content. Got questions or ideas? Comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn, especially if you're exploring opportunities or hiring. Remember, it only takes one opportunity to transform your career journey. Keep striving and stay optimistic. Your persistence will pay off. Peace and success to you.